Let's see what it does. <laughs> okay, that's pretty great. See? I'm so, see? Fucking... I fucking told you, it's all about the little shimmy. You. Brennigheim Berkonwin? No, the bean! Oh. Yeah. That's a good uh, foreshadowing for what we're doing in this episode, unless, you know, people read the... Unless, you know, you like, you write the title of the video. Yeah. I 100% believe I'm going to name it something stupid, like We Fall or something. Because mm. that is a stupid reference to both fucking games. Maybe. <laughs> or The Fall. The Fall. <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe the last episode was the Hildebrand one, and it's the rise and fall of gentlemen. So this one could just be the fall and fall of. Be what the fuck is this scythe? What happened? <laughs> you'll you'll see when you get over here. Look at this fucking shit. Alligan. Actually. No. Ooh. Omega. Omega. I miss a Luana. Luana. We're here for do the thing. Uh, just crowning around. Yes, because the other one is Mahjong. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Yakuza. I used to have like an, an app that had Mahjong on it, but it was just like a matching thing. I don't think I was properly playing Mahjong. This is legit Mahjong, like 100%. Yeah. Alright, who wants to take over? Are we voicing this? Yeah. Alright. Excellent. The next show should be commencing any moment now. <clears throat> hmm? Eavesdropping, are we? How very quaint. If you must know, I will soon be making for Blunderville, that I might spectate a few rounds of organized chaos. You have heard of it, yes? No. It wouldn't- it shouldn't come as any surprise, but the Gold Saucer is once again deigned to dream bigger. They now offer a host of precarious obstacle courses, which they refer to as shows, and lavish prizes to those who participate. If you prefer something more thrilling than cards and cactpots, perhaps you might find it to your liking. Speak with a curiously dressed man named Y, and he shall guide you to Blunderville Square. Oh, God. <laughs> so I'm going to be real with you. I never played Fall Guys. You haven't? Never, not once. Oh, my God. We might have to fucking do that after this. See, I, uh, she uttered the words dream bigger, and I just had flashbacks to doing fucking rabbit uh daily quests and good uh, god uh, jesus christ that means something to me for sure hmm i can't say more spoilers yeah the goo boy's back i've been running around with nanamo for like four episodes he's running kyle and taz a lot oh these are these are some names the ultimate uh skippity pips Skip skippity paps hmm. all right i don't know why Ah, greetings! Ready to stumble on into Blunderville Square? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I love how serious it takes it. It's it's so good. <laughs> Is this Fall Guys music or this Fall Guysified Final Fantasy music? This is a hundred percent music just from Fall Guys. Okay, because it sounded familiar at first. God, it's it's so pastel. I don't 
hate it. It's very incongruous with the people. I do. But. I did pick up the WoW emote. <laughs> Solid. I realized, I realized I had extra fucking currency on Sona. I'm like, yeah, why the hell not? Hello, Blunder Bean Keep. Bean Keep. Oh, Bean Keep. <laughs> keep some beans, if you will. <laughs> Your finest beans. <laughs> Your finest beans. Welcome to Blunderville Square, the gold saucer's second roundest square. I am known as the Bean Keep, and it is my duty to guide newcomer challengers to their premiere show. By that glimmer in your eyes, I take it this is your first visit. <laughs> As I thought. Never fear, however, for I shall explain all. Blunderville is a set of battle royale obstacle courses fit for up to 24 challengers. And you, my intrepid friends, look like our very next one. Challenges are tasked with overcoming three particularly tricksy courses and must race ahead of the pack if they wish to qualify for further challenges. Whether you fall flat during the first round or find yourself among no the final flat. few... You're f please let me finish my explanation, <laughs> I am paid by the pun here. You're, few you're sure to win rewards of plenty. Should you bumble and stumble your way to the last round, then you too have a chance of claiming the coveted crown. It could be quite a lot to take in, so I'll leave the final details for later. In the meantime, have any pressing questions, uh, comments, uh, concerns? What do we have? The architecture. The, the, okay. The Alright, architecture. Ah, isn't it just? We have the beans to thank for that. They inspired us to fill our shows and our lobby with the colourful whimsy you see before you. Though we know not where they originated from, we but recently discovered these little ones wandering the gold saucer. Their round physiques are reminiscent of legumes, so we eventually came to call them the beans. Be they void scent or seedkin or something else entirely, they are adorably inquisitive creatures. You simply must hear them hoot and holler about the halls. I've no idea what they're attempting to say, mind you, but it all sounds quite precious. On the other hand, you might be surprised to learn that Master Godbert Mandeville, proprietor of the Gold Saucer, was the first to attempt communication with the beans. I'm told they found his hearty laughter and muscular mannerisms most endearing. It is thanks to his efforts that we found common ground with them. And in turn, they grew comfortable enough to show off their unique proclivities, such as racing through every obstacle that comes their way. They may be a tad clumsy, but the spirit of competition that lies within them is a force to be reckoned with. Master Banderville was so moved by, this, by these displays, he immediately ordered the construction of this whimsical hall, that his new friends might have a place to frolic and play with others. Forgive me, was I rambling? But <laughs> in any case, that's my good woman, is how Blunderville came to be. Uh, you're more than welcome to take on our shows by yourself, or with an entire alliance of companions if you wish. Alright. Once you've made your preparations, simply speak with the Registrar. We'll escort you to our next show as soon as every competitor is accounted for. Well, all right. Welcome to the Battle Royale. I believe that covers the basics, but if you have any other burning questions about what you might encounter along the way, I would be pleased to assist you. I wish you luck out there, and may you rise above the rest. Solid. I don't like how the music, like, cut out at the right time. Hmm. We're gonna kill for sport. Woo! So, welcome to the fucking Fall Guys event. Three words I never thought I would fucking say. Woo! So this is going to consist of up to three rounds. And pretty much, uh, yeah, the, the more you... The longer you survive, the more uh, currency you'll win. Oh, uh, I'm going to be bad at this. Oh, don't worry. Uh... <laughs> The physics here are... 
the physics of their Arnon. So I'm curious, there's grabbing in Fall Guys, right? Yes, that doesn't work here. Okay. Oh, good. Avoid obstacles and reach the goals. Oh, this is going to have so many mechanics that you're not going to understand. Oh, God. Is it, does it use, like, dungeon mechanics and stuff? It's going to use, like, very niche mechanics that are, like, more recent. Yeah, I'm looking at this and I'm going, this doesn't look very long. I will try to explain it as best I can. Look at this first what one. Does this do? There's an arrow ah. underneath you. When the timer runs out, you will be going in that direction. I missed it anyways. Cool. So what does it mean, going? What do you, what do you mean? It says you'll be going in that direction. What do you mean? Am I going to get pushed? Uh, you're going to forcibly yes. move yourself in that direction. Okay. I'm not going to qualify here. I don't think I am going to either, since I fucked up the spinning one. How are you supposed to get through this? Hold right. I went hold all the right way mouse. to the other side. Hold your right mouse key. I yeah, do that. That's how I look around. Oh jeez. Oh fuck. Come on, Connor, you gotta qualify. It's not gonna be much of an episode if you don't make it to the I mean, we can go into another fucking one. Ah, fucking die! Ah. I don't understand. Let me see if I can head back. No, I can't. Hi, hey, Ubisoft Connect. Why are you booting up? Well. Oh my god, I saw you. I don't understand how this mechanic works. Focus on qualifying and you can explain There's the no way. So what, how does it work? Okay, so there will be an arrow underneath you. The arrow yes, I will, got that. The arrow will indicate what direction you're going to move in when the debuff applied to you runs out. Every time, every time I have fucking run this, if I lose in the first round, this minigame comes up, and if I win, it's the other fucking minigame. Hmm. So when the so you're saying? So when the debuff runs out, which is like four right. to five seconds, you are going yep. to be forcefully moved in whatever direction the arrow is pointing. So you gotcha. need to, I got that. You need to position yourself so that the arrow is pointing to where you can continue moving without falling off the platform. I don't understand. I went all the way to the other side of the platform and it didn't... You, ju you just gotta, like, turn your character... Hold down the right mouse and just position your character. I don't, I don't get what you're saying, but it's okay. Beautifully. Well, we can't really do anything here, so let's uh, leave. I don't even know how this minigame works. Mm. Fall Guys! Yeah! <laughs> Getting angry at yourself for being bad at platforming in a game with- I'm actually- I'm good at platforming, dammit. I just didn't understand that fucking mechanic. Yeah. Well, guess what? Uh, we will- 50% chance we'll be getting it again. Alright. 
so you use I use right mouse to move anyways. Yes. I hold down right mouse and I point it in the direction I want to go and I just walk forward. So what does that mean for the arrow? You just position your character to like look to the right or left so the arrow just continues going forward. Oh, if- I position my character so I'm facing the direction of the arrow and then move? You don't have to move. It will move you. Oh, okay. I get it now. Hey, look, it's the same fucking I get it now, though. I'm going to hit a mechanic after that, but I'm not going to. Yeah, you'll get the spinning one, which is just tank controls. Tank? Tank controls. If you're always moving forward. Oh, yeah. Hopefully you'll understand it. Okay, I'll, I'll try. I am terrible with explaining mechanics because I am of the mind of like, fuck it, we do it blind, we'll figure it out as we go. And if we don't figure it out, oh well. Oh good, Halo Kitten. There's a bug on my screen. Stuns you, interesting. Yeah, and it can fucking send you far. The one time I actually won one of these was because it just flung me forward. Are you up um, to the ball? You're not up to the balls. I am up to the balls. Okay. So you, we have pressing, to move. Yeah, pressing A or D will move. How did I not get hit by that? We'll indicate which way you're moving. Uh, if you are hit by one of the white squares, you are sent to the side. There is no recovery from it. I can do this. Be the top. I am the end of Inception. Fuck! I got all the way to the last one. Okay, see, now I'm having fun because I understand yeah. it. Uh, I'm coming back down to you. you nope, that's the wrong one. Oh, I see you. Raise my googly Oh my god! So yeah, this one is just a... Uh, it wants to keep moving you down. Gotcha. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, damn. I think I was right at the end. Now watch. Yeah, it's going to be the it's not going to be the same mini game the second time. Are you qualified? Yes. See? Every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid Typhon's fungas and stay on the platform. So yeah, this is a very simple one. Uh, keep moving forward. Don't get hit by anything and don't fall too far behind or you'll be blown off by Typhon here in the middle. Okay. He's just a fucked up little guy. Yeah, he, he earns his paycheck. Yeah, I do not see you anymore. I am spectating. I see you, I'm gonna follow you around. I immediately lost you. <laughs> I got you. I have an arrow over your head now. This one's a little bit more simple because it doesn't matter... It doesn't need as many people to qualify, it just needs people to fall off. Hmm. Yeah, it's not about qualifying, this it's about fucking thing. thing. I hate that one that just goes back and forth. That one has gotten me so many times. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you behind? Why are there more of them? 
Oh my god, there's okay. more fucking of these things. I believe in you. I have... It has never gone this far. Ah! <laughs> I can, you can't use the AoE markers with the ones that go back and forth, they fuck me up so much! Launched off the side, oh my god! That was so heavy. You were there, and then you just weren't <laughs> you! Uh... It's uh... fine, but god, I wish I was able to play the other ones. The final round is always the mountain. It's very simple. Get to the top and be the first into the crown. It's your Jimbo. You were saying? Like, like this is our uh, wrap up to the episode. Yeah, let's at least see everything. There you are. Hello, can you see me now? Oh yeah. I want to make it to the top! Yeah, one of these spinning things just, like, launched me up this way. Or was it one- no, it was one of these things just launched me toward the stairs. Lucky break? Extremo. Did you know there's an achievement to get a hundred wins? Why? <laughs> because. I'd rather not. And that, in a nutshell, is the Fall Guys event. It's very simple, it's very fun, I fucking love it, and I'm glad they've confirmed that it's coming back irregularly. <laughs> hmm. So, you do get uh, MGP, you also get MGF, which is unique currency for the event. Hmm. And uh, it's, it's a good thing they give you a, a good number of MGF. Because, good, good fucking lord, there's a lot of shit. I got a, I have a total of 100. I got 200. You have a full, you have a full set of armor with three different hats. You have three different framers kits. You have the main theme to Fall Guys if you want it. You got two minions, a mount, uh, an emote, some housing items, and then some like extra stuff. Huh. I'm actually going to save oh. to get the emote first on Gala. Mm. So yeah, that's the Fall Guys event. Uh, yeah, 